Buck here. Back again with what I hope is the last one or two missions of this Halloween event. Going to Japan in search of the Japanese legends. So, <clears throat> travel to Japan, read the book, of course, and find the Phantom Trawler. So, once you get the Phantom Trawler, then I'm sure it's catch more fish and then off to monster fish. So, with that being said, guys. Let's get over. You over there, Buck? You got anything up and running? Yay. Hey, we do. We're going to take a look. All right, guys. What a surprise inside the Dingo Neck Monster. Found another diary. Surely it is the monster that swallowed the explorer. When you open the diary, you found out that the Africans traveled. Go to Japan to explore Japanese legends. All right. So, read the last six page of the diary. Let's go do that. That's inventory specials. All right, we got a mystery. Page six. Oh, now let's go back to missions. All right, that's off of our list. Now, <clears throat> all we got to do is go find the Phantom Trawler at night. So we're going to jump over there. Oh, let's talk a little bit <laughs> about... Our little gift that we got for completing that last mission. What a piece of garbage that is. All right. <clears throat> well, now, here's my normal pose. Okay, I got my saltwater gear all fired up. Come on, Fishing Planet. We need loadouts. It took me an hour to change over from fresh water to salt water in my tackle box. I need a loadout. This is too, too time consuming. All right, so we're bringing our normal um, bottom rods and casting rods for saltwater. And then, of course, I have my two spinning rods. Okay, and they're basically the same rod. They're, this is the best spinning rod in the game. Now, what did they do to us? Well, they gave us this. <laughs> I sort of looked closer at these pole, these spinning rods, because I, boy, am I glad I didn't make a mistake and buy this one. Um, this is a mistake. This, this is a disaster. This rod is no good for anything. Um, here's the, here's the problem. Get back over here to backpack buck. So we got backpack stuff here. Let's get the lures. So we got lures up here. All right. Look at this. Lure weight. Now this is only 132 pound pole. Lure weight. Minimum two ounce. Minimum two ounce. That's that blows everything away. You can't throw many pilkers on there. You can't. I mean, I don't know what this. I don't know what this rod. What they meant for this rod. All right. Many pilkers one and three quarter ounce. So it won't go on there. It'll be too light short and look it's only four and 15 sixteenths ounce okay why not just go to five ounce dollars really okay but what this does then is screws us on the other end take a look at the pilkers double pilkers five five uh, five ounce six ounce like i said mini pilker you can get a mini pilker on there to three um nope that one don't, don't work that's right because I, I was looking at three ounce two and four fifths single hook get a single hook on there you can get the very smallest double hook pilker because um, it's four and three eighths so it just barely makes it on there um everything else is too big um the double no double hooks can you, 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 you this like i said this is the only double hook pilker. now you can put a couple single hook pilkers on there that'll work um you cannot put here yeah they're here none of the None of the bucktails. They're all too light. So you can't put a bucktail on there. And you, so what? What good is a spinning rod if you can't put lures on it? You can put some of the trolling octopuses. There, they're two and a half ounce there. You're okay. And the three ounce. You're all right. Trophy trolling octopus, too light. Can't put that on there. All right. Um, what else did I see that I wanted? Oh, none of the, none of the jigs, none of your squid jigs will work on there. Oh, we already went over to Pilkers. Where's those squid jigs at? Oh, I think they're right here. Right. No. Where's the squid jigs at on this? Yeah. None of them. All too light. Now, your plugs. You've got a couple plugs that you can throw on here. Um, you have the two and two thirds. you got a three ounce. And then the, the four and one sixteenth. So plugs, you can put three different plugs on here, three different weights of plugs. That's it, nothing else. Uh, and because it is, I, and I just don't get it. This is a 132 pound pole. If you go here, now here's a 148 pound pole. It goes all the way down to half an ounce. 
So we can throw all that stuff. This, this is, this, it's very specific pole. Now, what you can get away with on this one is you, know, you can throw live. If you want to hold this in your hand and throw live, you know, real live bait in, you could put a live bait sinker on here and get you up into the two, two, two ounce range, where you then it'll actually you can get a hook and some bait on there. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> anyway, that's the story with that guy. Um, we should have this is okay because we got that in that package also. So let's go over here to Japan. Uh, I will see you your side. Come on, arigato. All right, folks, I made it here to Japan. So, um, just step so far quick up getting old. Oh, he's ready to go already. Got him all fired up, gassed up, ready to go. All right, let's get on here. Uh, let's make it nine o'clock. Order time. All right, now, don't be dumb, Buck. Pull the map out. Tell us where the goofy thing is. There's a lot of water here. Yeah, that's of course. Find the phantom trawler at night. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, we just gotta go over there. Luckily, I got me uh, navigation for you right there. All right, folks. Get this boat fired up here. See you when I get there. Wow, that was fast. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. Now we gotta go find this troll. Get up there, Buck. Hell, let's go, buddy. That's the thing. Alright. Go to the right there. He is. Get that from there. Come on. You're cranked up. I forgot how it's like Buck this boat. It takes a while to get him moving. All right, let's run over here and get our fishes that we need to catch. Get the bait. Oh, I don't know. see. It's a monster. My guys at the Discord server have already posted pictures of their monster, so I know it's a damn giant squid. So, probably going to have to make some kind of bait. After the bad luck I've been having driving through these ships, I'm not doing it this time, folks. I ain't latching on to another one out here, because right there, that's the damn spawn in joint. There's a the ship. Oh, God, I can't claim that one. How big is it? Hey, it. Oh, don't let me click on it? That's telling me to... All right. I want to know to wait. Okay. Well, we got that done. Put this one. Thing down, Buck. We've got another mission now. Here now. Bar. There we go. 121 pounds. You dirtbag. I just had to buy that to string this dim. Uh -huh. <laughs> close that. Why won't it close? Uh -oh, we got a bug here, folks. There, now it closed after eight times. The legend of what fun are you were? An Ayuri. Anya Uri. Ah, who knows? Look at him. Oh man, he looks just like the dude on my shirt. Ha! <laughs> I'm all set for this. <laughs> you found a legend about a phantom trawler from the new diary. Sailors disobeyed the sea god by taking more catch than they were allowed. Ah, uh -huh, that'll get you in trouble every time, fellas. <laughs> God summoned the giant octopus. Oh, it's an octopus. Okay. Ah, Korakamu. Korakamu. And sank their trawler and turned the sailors into whatever. Restless these spirits. Okay. Free these souls. You will have to perform well known rituals that serve the connection of. sever the connection of souls with the ghostly ship. Throw a rice ball at the phantom trawler from the shore at night. Rice ball. Okay. Rice 
talking to those fishermen in the tourist location, those only speak Okay. Talk to the ghost fishermen at the Tori Okoto location. Well, that's right over there. Oh, come on. All right, we're going to do this fast. Boom, 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 boom. That's here. Go fishing. All right, where's the ghost at? There he is. <laughs> Find out what's going on. Oh, fuck. Oh, let's go spin the wheel first. Feel. All right. <laughs> now, I had. I wrote all this down this time. I'm keeping. Where's my mead at? I had 35 of these mead before I came here. Wait. What did they do with it? Eight. Paint on something over here. We go. Gave me one. You have got to be kidding me. They said that they increased the bait on the wheels because it was so tough. 24 hours, you have to wait for one bait? Fishing Planet, you lost your mind. Huh. One bait. Okay, that's why I didn't notice it before. That's all you're getting is one. How are you supposed to complete this if you don't buy them baits and spend your money? You're never going to complete this if you ain't got a checkbook. All right. Let's go. I'm at it now. I'm gonna go. This mission was too long. You see, Buck's a little test. All right, <clears throat> back to the map. Okay, we need to go. Oh, we still need to go talk to that goofy. See, I'm so upset over that bait. Can't think straight. Oh. All right, guy. I'll give you items for the ritual if you fill. If you fill up the fish. Oh. Why didn't I bring the little boat? To <laughs> be kind and fill the boat's fish storage. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna go out there and fill my banana. Um, I'll be back when I get that done. We'll see you in a few. Hey, folks, I'm back. And baby, come on, big boy. Come to Papa. Buck needs you. All right. <clears throat> you had to fill her net up, of course. I don't think this guy might not be big enough. I need at least 120 pounds. Taking the gap. I don't know her. All right, Young Pacific Bluefin. Well, we'll keep this guy. He ain't nothing to mark. That should put us over there. We go. Nice job. All right, guys. Let's talk a little bit about what Buck did here because I it didn't take me long at all. All right, let's pull the map out. Not to sound arrogant. Don't want to sound arrogant. At all. Please don't take it that way. However, um, on this mission here, if you don't know what you're doing, never been to Japan, this could take you a very, very long time. Um, I've been here a lot. I know where to go. I know what type of fish I want to hunt for when it says that I got a time limit to fill that thing. I'm not worried about hunting anything but big fat fish. All right, hogs. So, that being said, Look at the map. I've got this channel that runs all the way across the top. This is this one. As you can see, I've got navigation points all along here. I mean, this is just this is this is the alley. 
guys, this is the alley, fish it. All right, fish it. Um, you'll catch a lot of fish, especially over in here. Over in here, that's why I wanted to go over here. It really made me angry because they made me waste a, a, a fast forward, get to the night. So I didn't want to do this at nighttime. I wanted, I wanted a little more time. I mean, it was already almost I think 11 o'clock, 10, 10, 30, somewhere around 10 o'clock um, by the time I got everything done. So half of my day was gone already. Now, I got to fill 1,400 pounds, and I only got half of my time that I normally had. So I, I go right where I knew I could get something big real fast, try to get a couple of fish in here. So I couldn't fast forward, so I had to drive all the way over here, wasted time. I drove all the way over here. And I still haven't made it. I have not made it to the end of my... I mean, I caught from this buoy to this point. Caught them all. Here to here. That's it. Okay? So, let's go take a look here, Buck. Go uh, over to the for here. Take a look at fish storage. Um, that's a good spot. Uh, it only took me seven fish to fill it. But I filled it with some pretty big fish. Uni big guy, uni yellowfin, a couple of trophy, big eyes, and just, just a couple of small ones right here, um, just for just at the end. So, and look what I caught them on. Almost every one of them was on that this stick right here. I got two on the plug. Two on the plug. The rest of them was on this guy. All right. <clears throat> Well, that'll done do her. Um, let's go here, let's go to missions. Okay, at night, throw a rice ball at the phantom trawler from the shore. Okay, so we gotta throw a rice ball. Wait, get incense sticks and rice from the ghost fisherman at the reward for the fish that does speak to at night. All right, we're still here. Um, all we gotta do is travel over here, half, travel back to the and we'll fish in. Alright, ocean is right away, away. Alright, where's our fish? Alright, there's a puppy. Alright, perfect, you helped me out a lot. Here are the items. Okay. Have them right here on myself. I could have just used them. Alright, we'll claim it. Oh, rice. Rice ground bait. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're just throwing it in by hand. Never mind. Why are you giving me so many? Throw the rice balls at the phantom stuff. Okay. Now we're just going to bring the monster out because that's just another video. Go to missions. No, there's going to be another mission, so maybe this gives us the mission. We just have to throw the rice ball out. All right, inventory. We got to go here. Yes, we got to go here. Um, I need a recipe here. And let's go to ground base. Go to backpack. Here's the part. Here's the rice. Ground base. Bar. Bar. Fire fly. Pass it up. There it is. Alright, rice ground bait. Put that in there. No, let's put the whole thing in there, Buck. You know what? Why are you wasting it? Put half of it in. Put it half in. Mix her up. Okay, got her mixed. All right, let's go over one. Load up our catapult. Let's see here. Where's it at? Bait here. It should be right here. There we are. How much do we got? Oh, uh -oh, that might not be enough. Either. It's in yellow. Time left. Twenty-four hours. All right, we're good. Uh, how do you get out of here? Hit the I key, buddy. For eight for the catapult. Right, let's 
Hit the ship. Boom. Landed that one right in the middle. All right. Oh, put that away, Buck. We only needed one little bit. All right, we'll claim this guy. What did we get here? Three of these guys. Clear, 121 pounders. Why is everything on this 121 pound with this stick? Or if we have to hunt with that garbage stick. Ah, it's gonna make me angry. Fuck, don't get it. Right? Here we go, the curse of Akura Kokomumi. Akaura Kakahumi. All right, well done. We managed to free some of the soldiers. <laughs> But the uh, freedom of the Martians are almost unbeatable, but there's one loophole. I really cannot resist the power of pearls. Find and use the pearl bait to defeat the monster. Good luck, and many see. Oh no, we're not done. We gotta go. We gotta go find pearls now. Find and use the pearls. Alright. I'll be back, guys. Here we go. We're doing it. Put that away, Buck. Alright. Well, that seems to be it for this one here. Um, I'll be back with the monster. Uh, this was the legend of Huda. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> the legend of Funa. That's how I'm going to leave it at. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of this one. I'll be back with the, with the monster mission. Uh, I guess we have to cook up some bait here. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Never, ever give up the fight. We'll see you later. Uh-huh. <laughs>